makes the community proud. We've now won three knockouts in the last um, eight years, um, which is a, a massive achievement. We've won uh, six in total, um, and, and that in itself to put Walgett on its map, on the map, you know, in terms of rugby league, uh, is sensational for us to win it six times in the history of the knockout. Um, the fact that now we're we're in a space where, um, you know, we we can make this happen and ensure that uh, Aboriginal people are are recognised within the constitution. Um, you know, it's a step in the right direction and, and hopefully everyone can, can support that and ensure that uh, it happens. Walgett, I guess, you know, we've just born and bred on footy, you know, it's, um, it's, it's just been passed down like a generation to generation thing, you know, it's once, once you're born, you, you're pretty much born with that footy in your hands. I think the fact that, you know, Going, going through the footballing way with the recognised campaign, uh, I think I think that's going to be a massive bonus because um, some of some of our athletes, you know, you look at your Jonathan Thurston's, Greg Inglis, and blokes like that, they're they're the best in the game, and and there's no doubt about that. You know, hands down, no one comes close to them, and you know they're they're recognised through the NRL ring. So what's what's holding them back from being recognised as part of the Constitution of Australia? There was a there was probably a lot of things left out of the Constitution. Um, when it was written back then, you know, it was a very different time back then. Um, there, was, there was very different rules and, and uh, different different society. So, um, you know, I think we probably do need to get up with the times and, and um, you know, treat, treat everyone the same as, as it should be. It's time now. Too deadly. <laughs>